You seem to have gone crazy since the last time I saw you. Is it does that true? seem that way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have. I'm Let me sure. ask a question about specifically about one incident <laughs> because I'm fascinated. Okay. Um, you went to the, you were arrested at the musical cabaret. <laughs> Yeah. Which seems like, a first of all, a weird place for you to be in the first place. Sure. How does one get arrested right. at Cabaret? So I land in New York. I'm coming back from Ireland. OK. Visiting my girl. And in Ireland, like, when you go to Rome, you have spaghetti. You know, you, you go to Ireland, you drink whiskey. So I had been drinking a lot of whiskey in Ireland. Come back, I land, and it's the World Cup. And you drink a lot of whiskey during the World Cup, it seems. <laughs> Is that one of the traditions yeah, of the World Cup? Yeah, it makes it all fun. Oh. So, I'm, so I'm sitting at a, at a bar, and I'm, I'm drinking a whole lot of whiskey. Uh -huh. And I'm watching this uh, World Cup. It's South Korea versus, I forget the other team, uh, Lithuania or something. OK. And, and I really care at this point. I mean, I'm drunk enough to really care. <laughs> Who are you rooting for, South Korea? Uh, or uh, Lithuania, Lithuania, for sure. Lithuania, OK. Uh, so so I'm, I'm, all, I'm all Lithuania. And, um, and I go outside, I have a cigarette, and there's this homeless man out there, this homeless Marine. And I start talking to him, we start getting into a conversation. And then a woman runs up and starts taking pictures of me with her cell phone and, and trips him out. And I'm three sheets to the wind, and I, I can't really calm him down. He starts running down the road after like 30 minutes of conversation. So I start running after him. <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to calm this homeless man down in the middle of Times Square. And, uh, and he don't want nothing to do with me, but I'm not giving up. So, so, so I, ch I, we ch I chase him for a while. I'm trying to calm down. Hey, it's me. We were just talking. Relax. And he's gone. So I turn around. I start walking back to the bar to pay my bill. And I see uh, this dude who comes up. And I don't know this guy, but he comes up to me. He says, hey, Shy, hey, man. I'm a big fan. I said, thank you. You know, he says, hey, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, well, I'm, I'm looking to turn it up a bit, you know? <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to have a good night here. I just got to New York, you know? I'm trying to have a good time. I'm really done with this Lithuania thing. What's going on? And, uh, and he says, well, uh, why don't you come to my show? You know, I'm a dancer in this cabaret show. And I said, cabaret? Pfft, yeah, cabaret. <laughs> cabaret is exactly what I'm going to do, cabaret. So, so I, he gives me a ticket. I go up to, I go up to the thing, and, and the cabaret is maybe a block away from my uh, bar. So I go pay my Lithuania bill. I get outside. I, I, I'm walking. Now the drunk is really starting to kick in. I'm really good and drunk at this point. Mm -hmm. I make it into the theater. And, uh, and, uh... <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> and I know. If, you know, if you hadn't, we wouldn't have this story. Here you go. <laughs> so I, I get in the theater, and they're, it's set up in, 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 in an old club. You know, what I know of Broadway is it's like this kind of setup. And in, in this show, every, they had tables. And there was all these women in burlesque, and I'm like, oh, this really is some kind of party or something. So, so uh, I'm walking to my seat, and on the way to the seat, I see that there's this bar over here. And I go, oh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll have another drink, because I need one. So, so I, I get another double whiskey, and I sit in my seat, and there's these two beautiful 50-year-old women. Women, and, and I say, uh, oh, yeah, well, tonight's the night, ladies. What's it going to be? What do you want to drink? And, uh, and they look at me like, don't talk to me. <laughs> um, so I, I take it as a sign that they want exactly what I'm drinking. So I, 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 so I turn around, I go back to the bar, and I get uh, two more double whiskeys. While I'm at the bar, there's a fruit plate. And I'm like, well, this is a really nice thing to just be offering fruit like this. So I start taking fruit off the fruit plate, and I'm feeding this other woman who looks about 50, 60 or so. So now I'm feeding this woman strawberries. And I forget I'm even in the show anymore. And, and, uh, and after that finishes, I, I walk back to my seat with these drinks. And, uh, and I put the drinks down, and they don't want nothing to do with it. And I say, well, all right, well, you're not going to have them, so I'll have them. And, so now, now I'm drinking these drinks, and the show starts, and uh, and out comes Alan Tudyk, or uh, Alan Cumming. Uh, right, Alan Cumming. Alan yeah. Cumming. It could have been Alan Iverson at this point. <laughs> I mean, I don't know so Alan Iverson's there, and uh, and I'm I'm into it. You know, I never knew Alan Iverson was in the Broadway, and uh, and uh, he's smoking a cigarette. So I go, oh, he's got kind of party. Perfect. I I want to have a cigarette too. So. So I'm packing my cigarettes, I pull the cigarette out, I'm smoking a cigarette, and these women don't want nothing to do with me. Nobody wants nothing to do with me, but I don't see them. I'm just seeing Alan Iverson in leather pants. They're like, this is the craziest show I've ever seen. <laughs> and then he, he puts a cigarette out and he starts walking, he's like, he's, it looks like he's winking at me. And I'm thinking, oh, well, this is great. And at this point, I see the, the ballet guy who gave me the ticket, and I'm like, hey, what's going on, pal? And now everybody's looking at me, and I'm feeling like, whoa, well, this is kind of weird. I didn't know it was that kind of show. Alan Cummings walks past me. I forget all about that again. And all I'm thinking about is the, the leather pants and him winking at me. And he walks past me, and I, I give him a slap on the ass because I think he deserves it. And, um, and he's, he's seducing me. I mean, he's the sexiest man I've ever seen. I'm thinking, you know, and I don't just slap and slap, but I slap and grabbed him. 
Like I grabbed the whole cheek because I wanted the party right here in my pants. <laughs> I wanted to grab the whole party. And, uh, and so he, he, he finds a way to wiggle out of my Hercules grip. And, uh, and I'm a little disappointed about it, so I think it's time to have another cigarette. So, so I start having a cigarette, and a security guard comes up and says, can you put the cigarette out? No problem. Anyway, we get to intermission, and a, a person tells me, there's another party outside. And I'm thinking, oh, well, OK. And, uh, and I see six cops having their own party. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, anyways, they wind up taking me to the station. <laughs> Oh, man. Right along, or? Uh, no, yeah. it was a, yeah. come to the station. Yeah, right. And so, so, <laughs> so I, I get to the station, and I quickly realize, I, this isn't, I'm not supposed to be here, you know? This is not, I'm not made for this setup. So my possum is like, you got to do something, man. You got to do something. You're going to die in here. So I turn into Tupac. And now, now, now I'm ripping my shirt off, and I'm doing push-ups. Like, you know, don't mess with me, dog. I'm crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the guy's like, what are you in here for? I'm like, cabaret. <laughs> cabaret. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so then they, they fingerprint me. They fingerprint me to do the whole business. And I'm, I, got, I got to get out of this little cell with these six dudes. I'm tripping. And, uh, and so, so I figured, you know, I'm going to spit on this cop's shoe. That's my way out. So I spit on his shoe, and I'm looking at him. And it was. And he put a mask on me, a Hannibal mask and a lead jacket, and ushered me into my private little dwelling uh, where I sat for 25 hours. And then um, they gave me a McDonald's egg sandwich. <laughs> yeah. What? And that was, that's the story. And oh, wow. What a night. Yeah, what a night, man. And I'm hoping that maybe you you've calmed that you you're dialing back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, then. yeah. I'm gonna stay away from Broadway for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, Broadway is yeah, not no. the problem. It's the whiskey, I think. Probably, yeah. you're probably right. <laughs> and I'm, I'm checking that too. And Allen Iverson and Leather Pants. <laughs>